Thank you for your company this Wednesday morning. Britain has set up so-called fat camps to help kids beat the battle of the bold. The programs teach children and families about healthy eating, exercise and lifestyle choices. So could fat camps be a solution for Australia's growing childhood obesity problems? That's today's Daily Dilemma. And please welcome Fiona Baker from kidspot.com. <laughs> Is this really the solution, Fiona, do you think? Well, I mean, it rings a lot of alarm bells, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I think obesity, childhood obesity is, is big in, in Australia. I mean, it's like 25% uh, of children are over, overweight or obese. But singling out individual children and sending them, in turning them into weight loss residential programs seems quite um, extreme and sort of God, probably not dealing with the community now, issue. Can't you? Kids overhaul. Yeah. On television, a reality show. I think they've How done it. Wild. Yeah, they, they have they done it. Have they have done, done it. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> but it was actually quite good. But it, it was on it this was, network, it was wasn't on it? This network. It was oh, quite good. <laughs> great idea. <laughs> what if <laughs> I missed it? <laughs> <laughs> I be too quick to judge. No, but it was good in the terms of it. it they didn't. I didn't think um, sensationalised. It was actually quite upsetting to see mm. what these kids were dealing with and having to endure because the thing is having fat camps to me it's shaming it's yeah. shaming the kids and it's shaming the families and and really covering up for parents who are letting down their children I well think. and there's a lot of other issues though it's not actually about these kids may not have been fed chips every day mm. they're now saying that there's a lot of research that maternal weight gain so I mean you have these, a better baby yeah so these children might be genetically predisposed to yeah. being large so really it's like a community mm. it's a societal issue it's not about one child being fat it's about it's a health issue that the whole community is facing yeah. I think that's it it's a health issue and it's about yeah. education mm. whenever you use the word diet camp it, it, it it, it's the wrong word. It should be food education, yeah. herbs, food, vitamins, the eating, and, yeah. and the and the benefits mm. of actually doing that, mm. and educate those people. Yes. Of course, it's it's. What I don't believe it's a sparkly hereditary. camp. You could call it a <laughs> sparkle and glitter camp, and that would be fantastic. Mm. Or not have a camp at all, and just <laughs> yeah, have right. it as a general <laughs> residential. I mean, a general. Education programs. Yeah, I've got to say, <laughs> the notion of rounding up a bunch of people yeah. just because they are different from the rest of us yes. and sticking them all in a camp. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> no? Hello. Like, it's been tried throughout history and it yeah. just, quite frankly, it chills my blood. It just singles them the out. And, and also, you, you're very mindful of not allowing these children to have lifelong issues with mm. weight. Yeah. Exactly. Mm. Can't yeah, label them. Yeah, exactly. You know, some, of course, just have puppy fat. Mm. There is a difference. You know, there is a difference between puppy fat and being seriously overweight. But a lot plus. of kids are a bit plump until they start to develop. I think the problem has been with morbid obesity amongst know, children, yeah. and, mm. and that's what they're trying to single out. But still, that's Awful. maybe. Yeah. yeah, it's a Labeling problem, but rounding, rounding them all up and sending them away, yeah. like the, the stigmatisation alone that that would encourage when they get back, it'd be horrendous. It's a crazy idea. Yeah. Fiona, thanks for joining us this morning. Much Thank appreciated. You.